We just all got back from the gym as a family and we did a workout. It's called Fran, um, which is like 21, 15, 9 thrusters and pull ups. And that was totally fine. And then after, I decided to do some back squats. And I was warming up and on my set of 10 of just like, what was it? 60, like 100 pounds. So nothing crazy. On my very last squat, I did something to my back. So much so that I just like fell to the floor and I couldn't get up. I have a really, really high pain tolerance <clears throat> and it takes a lot for me to even like want to cry. But this was one of those pains where I was crippled and almost cried. <laughs> so um, I couldn't walk, couldn't get up. Noble helped me get to the car. Uh, we left my van at the gym. So now we are at cryotherapy. Is that right? Yeah, cryotherapy. Cryotherapy. Because like five people at my gym were like, okay, you need to go there right now. Um, somebody in my gym, Charity, love you girl, she oh, called um, this place in Draper, which is like 20 minutes away from our gym, and they're open sure. for another hour. So I'm going to do it, and I thought that I would record it. So this is my first experience with cryotherapy yeah, and if you yeah, don't know what it is yeah. that's okay because I don't really know either but basically you sit in like a chamber and it it's freezing it's I mean I'll find out all the, the details here in a minute but they basically you go in the chamber for a few minutes it freezes you and it's supposed to help with all sorts of aches and pains so we'll see how it goes Can I need your help? I'm videotaping this. <laughs> oh, jeez. You can do this, babe. I really hope this works. Me too. I cannot watch the kids all day. <laughs> and heaven forbid you do the dishes. <laughs> as long as this helps you lean, lean over a sink and do dishes. Oh my gosh. Ouch. See Mr. Freeze, guys. Oh. Do you want to go first? Um, I prefer you. Okay, <laughs> so you'll want to wear our oh, socks. Nervous. Socks. Okay. okay, you can push them down around the ankle just to make sure it's covering the Achilles, and okay. then two pairs of gloves for the hands. Okay, you want to protect the extremities. Females can't go completely naked or just keep a sports bra and underwear on. You just don't want any moisture in either. So if it's a little bit damp, I would just take okay. it off completely, okay? Okay. Um, there's a little bit three minutes. So if at any point during the session, if you do feel like angle and you feel like you need to jump out, just feel oh, like what? You need to jump out. Just let me know and I can stop the session and adjust the temperature. Like what, yeah. what, let's, like at what point would I be like, okay, I need to jump out? Like. Um, everybody has a different pain threshold, so... Oh, okay, so it's pain. Yeah, if it's, like, uncomfortable. So, but you'll do great. Just step on in, and face out towards me to start. I'll pull toward behind you, and then take off your robe and just hand over the top. Can you hand up? Should I keep the slippers on? You can hold up here. Yeah, keep the slippers on. Uh, my side. The biggest thing to be aware of when you're in the chamber is keep your chin up when it pulses the gouts around your face. Okay. You just don't want to breathe in too much at once. So just keep your chin up. And then you can move in Okay? How much longer? You have 20 seconds. Okay. Yeah, 
cross rotation, face the front. My wrist hurt. Keep your hands out. Yeah. All right. You have five seconds. I'm gonna hand you a rope through the door. Okay, and then I'll make sure you stop. So after you'll notice your extremities are really deep. Yeah. Tingling. It'll take just a minute to warm up. <coughs> I recommend stretching right after. Right so, now? Yeah, I'll let you get dressed up. And then take off the gloves. Yeah, take off the gloves and so you can put them in that basket. And then, like I mentioned to Veronica, just make sure you keep your chin up when it pulses the gas. Okay? With the cover, it's a little bit nicer. It doesn't come up in your face as much, but just notice still. So. Is it on? Yeah. Yes, the three minutes have started. So as the session goes on, it'll gradually get colder for you, right? Is it, it on yet? It looks like Mexico in here. <laughs> <laughs> we just got back. Okay, so now we're doing, what are these called, babe? Skulls. Come. Squeeze the crap out of your legs. <laughs> he said, squeeze the crap out of your legs. That's like compressions or whatever for your legs, um, but... um. Normatech. Normatech compressions legs. for your legs. But um, so <coughs> the cryotherapy was obviously really cold. Um, but I was able to like move a little bit better and like I just walked from that room to this room without a crazy amount of pain. It still hurts, so it wasn't like a cure all. Um, but I am able to move a little bit better and she said it should be better for about 24 to 48 hours before it starts hurting again um so my plan <clears throat> we bought a three pack so I'll come back not tomorrow because they're closed but on Wednesday and then I'll probably follow up again on Thursday and then I have um a massage therapist on Sunday so hopefully we can get my back back to as normal as we can sooner than later but this is pretty cool here actually these big like air compressors compressions on your legs oh Lila what are you doing it's really slow when it lifts though so just... I didn't know that it was that way I thought it was like a stool or something yeah all right you want to hand your robe over since I injured my back um, and I still am not weightlifting but I am able to like do the bike and rowing and then today I did some like uh, leg work just without weights so my guess my point is that I'm progressing and I honestly think by the end of this week I will be back to weightlifting just not like super heavy um, so do I think the cryo freeze however that is a therapy um, worked Yes. Do I, and here's why. 
because the first day, I mean, you guys saw, like, I, it, I was almost in tears even trying to walk in. Um, but I was able to leave that day and literally, like, walk out. I was still in a lot of pain, but I was able to walk out pretty normal and not be in tears. Um, and then ever since then, it's progressively gotten better. After the second time, it even got better. I did, however, I do want to say, I did um, go to a chiropractor and get adjusted once, and I did do dry needling. And then um, yesterday, I did cupping and a deep tissue um, massage. So I think between all of that, uh, my back has significantly gotten better. So do I think cryo freeze therapy helps? Yes, I do. Uh, I do have one more left, which is why this video has taken me so long to do because I was going to wait until I did all three of them, but I feel pretty dang good. And it's just so cold. Like I, I don't love it. I don't love getting in that at all. I actually hate it. <laughs> I actually hate it. So I admittedly admit that I admittedly admit, doesn't even make sense. So I admit that I do think it helps, but uh, I don't want to get my butt back in there. So I'm going to save my last one for if, fingers crossed it doesn't happen, but if I get injured again or I'm really aching or I, I need it. Um, so I'm going to save it because I just can't, I can't, I can't. It's so cold. I hate it. <laughs> there, I said it. I don't like, I don't like it. It's cold. I don't think anybody would like standing in a chamber and they pulse freaking negative 250 degrees onto you. Like it's cold. Um, so there you have it. Tomorrow I'm going to try doing a little bit more with my back and progressively, um, keep doing more and more. So if you have a really terrible back or injury, cryo freeze therapy is supposed to be pretty good for you. Um, just make sure that you're not in there for too long. I did three minutes and there's no way I would go longer than three minutes at all. <laughs> so, and I mean, I'm not a professional by any means, but yeah. I think a lot of people start out at like one or two minutes. So there you have it. There's my input. I hope you guys like this video. Um, and I don't know. Now you know what cryo freeze is maybe? Maybe you still have no idea. I don't know. <laughs> have a good day. Bye.